Hello, welcome or welcome back. It's your woman Angela K.O.D. We are still in Malaga and today I have a very special guest on the channel. She, she's my friend and she's going to make us a very delicious meal from Spain. Come with me and let me introduce you. Hey, but if you're not to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this great family. And for my subscribers, Team Angela K.O.D. and everyone watching my videos, thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate you guys always coming along. Um, <laughs> Hoy nosotros eh, estamos en Málaga y tengo aquí una amiga mía y ella va a hacer una comida de español. Eh, ¿Qué vas a hacer con nosotros? Vamos a hacer una paella de arroz. Muy bien. ¿Cómo se llama? Lo siento, su nombre de esa gente. Ella. Eloisa. Eloisa. Ella Elo va a hacer eh, preparar eh, un paella para ellos. Y me preguntas qué ingredientes vas a vas Vamos a tener. El arroz, lo principal. Arroz. Tomate. Sí. Ajo. Oh. El pollo. Pollo. Pimiento. Sí. Tomate frito. Uh -huh. Sal. Pimentón. Aceite. Sí. sí. Y oh. el azafrán. Y vino tinto. Vino ah, blanco. Vale. And, and entonces, for the ingredients, we'll be needing our rice, fresh tomatoes, garlic, chicken. A uh, white a uh, wine, green pepper, <laughs> saffron, olive oil, uh, uh, pim what is pimento? Uh, pimento bell, uh, la vega. bell pepper uh, powder. Let's see, let's see like that. Then those tomato fristo, a special tomato sauce from Spain, and salt to our taste. So these are the ingredients we'll be needing for our cooking. Muchas gracias por venir. Yo lo pongo a media fuego. Okay, it's a mom. She will start putting the olive oil in the pan. And I say, Tito. Yeah, more oil. Okay. A pinch of salt to the chicken and mix it together. Go ahead and add the chicken to the pan. She said you can also make it with fish, uh, uh, shrimps, or what any any picture is the color. But she prefers to use chicken with it. And she uses the fillet for the chicken towels and the and the drumstick. She says she wants it very fine chopped. So go ahead Bien, sí, vale. Sí. <laughs> vale. <laughs> Tengo una pregunta. Vale. Es, es paella una comida de toda España o de un sitio de España? La paella es de la típica típica en Valencia. Ah, su so paella es una típica comida de Valencia. De Valencia. Wow.
Después de eso ya se hacen todos los sitios. Oh, hoy tú me enseñas muchas cosas, ¿eh? Nunca yo he hecho un tomato así, ¿eh? Guys, I'm learning something new here. Look at the way she's peeling off the fruit. Hay que cortarlo en sisa. Wow, muy bien. ¿Eh? Porque a veces yo solo ponga en la agua, eh, agua caliente no. y hacerlo, pero así mejor, ¿eh? Eh, eh, Así mejor, muy fácil también. Oh. I'm learning a lot from her today because this is normal. I'll, I'll keep the tomato peel in hot water. I said the two dollar or una, it's not bad. Con una, it's bad. Con una, it's bad. It's not so bad. Yes. Yes. Ahora lo picamos. Aquí tenga la servilleta, ¿eh? Que no te haga falta, cariño. ¿Por qué no pones cebolla? La cebolla porque la red se pone muy lamioso. Oh, I am asking her why she's not asking any onions. Habrá, habrá persona que le ponga, sí. pero... No le pongo por eso. Vale, vale. She said that uh, the audio she doesn't like it to me because I said she doesn't make the paella sauce as good. That's why she's not adding the onion. So, but you're going to add some garlic to it. Lo aprendí por en casa de mi madre. Oh, claro. Entonces su mamá sí, enseña. Sí. Muy Son bien. receta de la casa de cuando niña. Wow, claro. muy bien. Sí, <risa> nunca he sido buena cocinera, ¿eh? Yeah. <risa> nunca, <risa> pero, <risa> pero me parece todo el mundo, para mí también. Yo, <risa> mi mamá me enseña. Mira, ahora le echamos el tomate, ya. el tomatito este. Ahí se lo echamos. The tomato she added is like a tomato puree, but this one, tomato filter, is a little bit uh, like Spanish. It's a, it's a very sweet uh, Spanish tomato sauce. They use something. It's very sweet and it's really nice. So 
and that is what you want. If you don't have it in wherever you are, you can replace it with tomato puree or tomato sauce. Any tomato sauce of your choice. Conseguido el vino blanco okay. para que no se queme porque si el pimiento se cuesta o se quema sí. amarga. Oh, vale. Entonces hay que echarlo y enseguida el vino vale. para que no se cueste, que no vale, se queme. Vale, vale. Sí, 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 vamos a ver. Amigos y amigas, si hoy es su primera día esa me mira mi video. Por favor, suscríbete para mí. Suscríbete y eh, manda una comentario. Yeah. Manda una masaje para mí. <ríe> y también puede mandar la video a su familia, a sus amigos también. Mejor le share y no solo like, please. It's very important, guys. <ríe> We need to hit more subscribers on these videos, guys. Está cogiendo el colorcito del tomate. Todo. Rosa is saying that when when she was young, her mother used to make this paella every Saturday, Sunday, no Saturday, because then everybody will be in the house and it takes much time. So she really wants the food, the flavors in this food. So it takes much time for the food to cook. So she only makes it on Saturday. And it's also like also with her one tradition she continued from her mother. So she only cooks it on Saturday. But because since we are here, or even on her busy schedule, she decided to make it for us. Muchas gracias. In Ghana, nosotros ya tiene una cosa como así. Se llama jollof. Como así. Solo con pimiento, tomate, eh, todo, pero no con sáfono. Entonces, lo coro y su rojo. Okay. Pero de la paella hay, hay amarillo. Ajá. La paella sale en amarillo. Sí, amarillo. Pero la jollof es eh, 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 root. Sí, el color normal. Sí, la sí, comida, sí. No lleva colorante. Sí, pero so, somos igual. Jollof y paella sí, me parece no, parecido. parecido sí. Igual. Igual, igual. Y todo el mundo... Se quiere Jolof. <laughs> Jolof de, de Nigeria, de Ghana, oh, todo el mundo le, le gusta mucho. Le gusta. Sí, con, pero, pero nosotros comemos con ensalada y hace como un eh, pollo frito encima. Oh, la combinación es buenísima. <laughs> y todo el mundo le gusta. Sí, me gusta también mucho, pero me gusta paella. La paella, la paella. Sí, la mi primera día yo comí paella, me parece 10, 15 años. Mi, mi, mi primera día son menos de 6 años. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Con una amiga, hasta a la calle, compras un buenísimo. Ellos hacen con pescado. Con pescado. Gamba, sí, todo. Gamba, mejones, oh. calamar. Sí, 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 sí. Es mi primera. Y yo come, 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 come. Pues, ah, es de buenísimo. Esas buenísimo. son paella de marisco. Sí, 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 sí. Esta es la, la de carne también se puede hacer con pollo. La sí. hacen la gente con... Oh, pescado. Con, sí, pescado. Todo, todo. Esto es lo que le quiero sí. hacer. Sí, pero es una, una comida que puede hacer con todo. Sí. Con, con cualquier cosa sí. que tú quieras. What you are, I was telling her about a uh, we Ghanaians also have the same or Nigeria also have something similar like this. But this rice will turn us to be yellow because of the saffron they put in. But normally with the Ghana jollof and Nigerian jollof is, is red. So it's almost similar, it's almost the same. I was telling her that the first time I had one was maybe 15 years ago when my older daughter was less than six months. So it's almost the same, but the taste and the flavors are different. That is, she's adding the paprika powder. This is the sweet one. And she'll go ahead and stir everything in. Yeah, the garlic. Look, I 
should go ahead and add the white wine, guys. But one thing you have to remember is anytime a uh, wine gets in contact with fire, when, when it's being cooked, the alcohol level goes away. So after cooking, there's not going to be alcohol in this rice. <laughs> the flavors here, wow, the combination of everything with the wine. Mm. <laughs> so guys, our sauce is ready. We go ahead and add our rice. This is a special rice from Spain. It's really super round. It's very, very nice. Yeah, that Yeah. Add some water. Mm -hmm. So she said the best way to cook your rice is one yeah. glass of uh, one glass of rice to two glass of water. So she's going ahead to add some salt from guys. She'll miss everything. Mm -hmm. You see, after adding the sulfur, you see how the color is turning yeah. green, yeah. yellow. Yeah, she's going to add more. Yeah, she add more salt. Salt is always to your taste. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's a bread. Vale. <laughs> She's going to taste for salt. Mm. Sorry, guys. The spe the rice she used was a very special rice. They use only for paella. It's super super round. It's very very nice. But if you don't have this type of rice where you are, you can use any normal rice of your choice. Está bien? Un poquito más. Yeah, she needs more, so a little bit more. Sopla. Está bien. Muy juicy. Wow, buenísimo. Me gusta. Wow. <laughs> yeah, ya ponemos 20 minutos. Vale. So we are going to cook this for 20 minutes. On a medium heat, you need to remember this. 20 minutes on a medium heat. Please remember. Uh -huh. All right. Vamos a dejar. We riego durante the 20 minutes. 20 minutos. Vamos a comer. <laughs> Guys, check out how our rice is doing. You see, it's really, really doing perfect. Ah, uh, see. Sí. Mi pregunta es por qué no eh, no eh, pone la tapa encima de la arroz. Oh, no. Por nada, no sé. 
Oh, nunca no lo tapa. Lo tapo cuando ahora termina. Oh. Y los 5 o 10 minutillos que lo dejamos de reposo, vale. sí lo tapo ya un poquito. Vale, pero no vale, total, vale. sino dejándole un poquito de hueco. Que oh. respire. I asked her why she didn't cover it. And she said that she, she has never seen uh, them covering a uh, paella whenever they are cooking it. But after it's been cooked and it's ready to be served, they just cover it up for five minutes and then it will be ready for serving. Wow, muchas gracias. You cannot come to a Spanish house without uh, taking café con leche. So, para nosotros, café con leche this afternoon. It's a mass. It's a mass in a Spanish house. <laughs> a little bit of sugar for my camera. My, I don't take sugar in my in my coffee. She gives me this special treat. It's a Spanish Christmas treat, guys. Wow. Hmm. Whoa. It looks yummy. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. It's very sweet. Mm. Me gusta, gracias. <laughs> Tan bueno. Yo no me lo como. Mm. Porque yo no soy dulce. Te queda un minuto. Wow, de arroz falta un minuto. So our rice is ready. She's go ahead. She'll go ahead and cover it up with the tapa. No está poder todo, lo dejo que salga un poco. Oh, she said you don't have to cover it. Up. A little bit open, no total cover, but a little bit open in between. So like, ¿cuántos minutos nos vas a esperar? Unos cinco minutitos. Oh, depende de la bulla que tengan de comer. Vale, vale. Hey, hey, she's saying that we have to wait for five minutes and it to be ready for us to dig in. I can't wait, guys, as usual. <laughs> Our paella is it's ready, guys. No so paella is a list of vamos a probar, guys. Look, so many languages for me. I don't know which one even to speak. Guys, look. Whoa. Have to add some chicken. Let's go ahead, guys. Guys, our paella is ready. I'm going to go ahead and dig in to... Mm. Bonismo. Mm. Muy... Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Muy rico. Bueno, bueno. bueno, muy bueno. Muy bueno. Me gusta mucho. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, the food is so delicious. I cannot even stop. Rest, thank you. Um, muchísimas gracias. Whoa. Mm. So this is Eloisa's daughter, Caroline. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for coming with me to make this delicious Spanish paella. But if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this great family. And for my subscribers, Team Angela K.O.D., and everyone watching my videos guys thank you so much for your love and support i really appreciate you guys coming along with me thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye bye muchas gracias por ver la receta esperamos que os suscribáis que os guste mucho y que se los mandéis a todos vuestros amigos y a vuestra familia mm, she said adiós. suscríbete suscríbete suscríbete, suscríbete. Adiós. adiós bye bye mm.